వచ్చే జన్మలో అయినా దీని సరిగ్గా అర్థం చేసుకోవడానికి ట్రై చేయి for yeah every extremist of religions <laughs> yeah i appreciate that me too Ooh. oh no wahita what's your name again wahita oh wahita yeah Ooh. oh no oh few ఇంకో వారంలో వాళ్ళిద్దరిని వదిలేసి కనపడకుండా పోయారని అందరిని నమ్మిస్తారు ఎందుకు సార్ ఇదంతా తప్పదు యూనిఫామ్ వేసుకున్నాం కదా సార్ ఐ మీన్ దే న్యూ వాట్ దే వర్ గెటింగ్ ఇన్ టు వెన్ దే అగ్రీ టు డు ద మిషన్ బట్ యా దట్ సక్స్ దే కిల్డ్ అన్సారి అండ్ 35 अदर मुजाहिदीन्स బట్ అన్ఫోర్చునెట్లీ హి వాస్ క్యాప్చర్డ్ బై ద పాకిస్తాన్ ఆర్మీ హి ప్రిజన్ yes రెక్ ఐ డిడెంట్ రియలైజ్ దట్ హి వాస్ ఇన్ ద పిక్చర్ విత్ హర్ యాస్ వెల్ అండ్ మాక్ తెలుసు మా మ్యాంగోస్ రెండు మీ దగ్గర ఉన్నాయి వాటి గురించి వరి అవుతున్నా కానీ వాళ్ళ పరిస్థితి అంత బాగాలేదు ఇంకొన్ని రోజులు ఎలాగొచ్చా ఇండియాలో ఈ మ్యాంగోస్కి చాలా డిమాండ్ ఉంది ఎలాగో మీకు యాపిల్ సిస్టమే కదా మార్చుకుంటే బాగుంటుందేమో అండ్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ మీరు కశ్మీర్ యాపిల్ గురించి మాట్లాడుతున్నారు మేము కశ్మీర్ అంతా ఆక్రమించుకోవడానికి చూస్తున్నాం వదిలేస్తున్నారు అవును నేను చాలా తిట్టేశాను ఏమనుకోతారు జనరల్ ఒప్పుకున్నారు సో మచ్ సార్ కానీ ఇద్దరు కాదు ఏమన్నారు మా ఇద్దరిని ఎప్పుడు వదిలేస్తున్నారు ఇద్దరిని కాదు ఒక్కరినే అయితే ఇప్పుడు మా ఇద్దరిలో ఎవరు వాడా హీస్ గన్ సాక్రిఫైస్ నన్ను ఇక్కడ చెత్తలా వదిలేసి నువ్వు వెళ్ళిపోతున్నావు కదా అలాదా నా కొరక ఒక్కడే వెళ్ళాల్సి వస్తే అది మీరే వెళ్తారు నేను కాదు నా కోసం కూడా చచ్చే దక్క ఎదురు చూసే వాళ్ళు ఉన్నారు నేను అనాథని కాదు సార్ మీ పాకిస్తాన్ ఆర్మీకి ట్వెల్వ్ ఇండియన్ ఆర్మీ బేస్ లొకేషన్స్ తెలిసాయి మా ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ సోర్సెస్ ద్వారా తెలిసిందే ఆ కోఆర్డినేట్స్ రామీ లీక్ చేశాడని రామ్కి నీకు సంబంధం లేదా వాడు ఇరవై సంవత్సరాలుగా పాకిస్తాన్ ప్రిజన్ లో ఉండటానికి Go find Aram. him. Ha rose vaadi chevilo padina aa papa edupu. Is she the girl? Aa papa evaro telsa? Is you. No way. Oh my gosh. Ha rose ni edupu vena padapothe. Vaadu sita tho happy ga badke vaadu. Oh wow. Ram rasin letter ikkada. Adi sita ga andela nenu chustanu. Bala sita gar undi. Ee paati ki sita ki chesi untadu. Sita Kashmir lo unda. He's been waiting for 20 years. Manandamaina chandamama kadalo chivari peechi iti. Neeku cheritaniki kaasta alasyam ayindi Sita. ఎనిమిది నెలలు కదా కోపంగా ఉన్నావు తెలుస్తుంది ఈ కోపాన్ని ఎప్పుడు చూడలేదు సీత ఇంకా చూసే అదృష్టం కూడా లేదు నేను ఎలా ఉన్నాను అసలు ఉన్నానా లేదా అని నా గురించి ఆలోచిస్తుంటావు తెలుసు అందుకే ఉత్తరం రాస్తున్నాను అక్కడ నా గురించి చాలా వినుంటావు సీత నువ్వు విన్నది ఏది నిజం కాదు నువ్వు నమ్మింది నిజం I am not a traitor. Come on, you guys get him back. Yeah, this is so messed up. Find out exactly where she is. I'll let her see the chat. I'll be back tomorrow. What? I'll be back tomorrow. What? I'm Vishnu, sir. He doesn't have a choice. Then I'll be back tomorrow. They don't want her to get the letter? Why? Yeah. I'm going to tell you. 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 ఒంటరిగా పోర్ కొడుతుందా నిన్న ఇక్కడ ఒక అనాథలు వదిలేశారని 
నీ దేశం మీద కోపంగా ఉన్నావు కదా పుట్టుకతో అనాథని రా కానీ ఎప్పుడు అమ్మ మీద కోపం రా నీ పేరెంట్స్ మద్రాసులో ఉంటారు కదా వాళ్ళతో పాటు అక్రమ్ ముజాహిదేన్ అబ్బాయి పుట్టాడు అక్కడ కాఫీ తాగుతున్నాడు చూసావా ముస్తఫా ప్రస్తుతానికి ఓన్లీ కాఫీ తాగమని ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఇచ్చాం కానీ నువ్వు కోఆపరేట్ చేయకపోతే మార్చాల్సి ఉంటుంది మాకు కాశ్మీర్ లో మీ ఆర్మీ యూనిట్స్ లొకేషన్స్ కావాలి ఒకవేళ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ లీక్ అయితే నువ్వు నీ దేశంలోనే దేశ ద్రోహుల బ్రతకాల్సి ఉంటుంది మాకు నీ సపోర్ట్ కంటిన్యూ చేస్తే నువ్వు హ్యాపీగా బతుకొచ్చు నీ ఫ్యామిలీతో అసలు దేశ ద్రోహి రామని నీ దేశాన్ని నమ్మిస్తావు I'm honestly not surprised because of Vishnu's behavior. Yeah. He's so he, like yeah. back and forth. Selfish. Yeah. Torture Jaykan. Please treat him like a soldier. Kanni la to yutram tad support him. Kanni pistondi. Tudu chesko. Did she, he knew? He knew? Ram. Oh. నేను చేయగలిగే దేవునే ఉంటే చెప్పు నాకు మీరు ఇంకో సాయం చేయాలి ఈ లెటర్ మీరు సీతకి పంపగలరా ఎందుకంటే ఇది నువ్వు చదివే టైంకి నేను ఉండను నెలకి ఆరు వందలు సంపాదించే సైనికుడి కోసం అన్ని వదిలేసి వచ్చిన మహారాణి ఈ జన్మకు ఇక సెలవు ప్రిన్సెస్ నూర్ జహాన్ ఈ ఉదయం తన సర్వీస్ రివాల్వర్ తో కాల్చుకుని ఆత్మహత్య చేసుకున్నారు లేట్ లెఫ్టినెంట్ రామ్ రాసిన లేఖ ఆధారంగా ఆర్మీ అధికారులు ఆర్మీ యాక్ట్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ ఏ ప్రకారం ఆయన ఇక్కడికి వచ్చే ముందు నన్ను ఒక్కరు క్షమించమని అడిగారు కోపం వచ్చింది ఇప్పుడు అడగకపోతే ప్రాణపోయేలా ఉంది సారీ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ ద లెటర్ రామ్ బ్రతికి ఉన్నారా a true story though is it I really hope uh, not please no that was like so sad at the end oh god oh. Jesus alright I'm gonna get us some 
some Ugh. something to wipe our tears with. That really broke me at the end. Yeah, my God. I was not ready for that. <laughs> you guys. I should have come prepared with the tissues yeah, I like. Time. I just didn't think they were going to do that. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like... I thought it was going to be maybe captured for like a week. I thought it was going to be kind of like Veer Zara, where it's like, oh, it's been 20 years. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And they get back together again. <laughs> and they and then they can live the rest of their lives together. No. But no. No. He got killed. And that was awful. But wow, this movie, like, it took us on a journey, my God. I wasn't really sure where we were going going with this initially because like I had heard um, from a lot of people in the comments like oh my god this movie's so romantic like you'll cry and stuff and as we were going I'm like definitely getting the romance feels but as of yet I'm, I'm still like on the fence about like the sadness and everything but then at the end it was just like holy crap it's real like it was I feel like it was a war movie yeah first- first and foremost yeah and then a romance and the romantic part is what made it a tragedy i was just like by the end of it when all of it i was like oh my god if they do this if they do this i am not gonna be well like i was like starting to be like the she hulk like i'm going to be so unwell and then they did it yeah like we are not okay at the end no. of this movie that's not no. like that's not happy cries that's like no tragic. sadness yeah. yeah full sadness i mean to think of 20 years you know she didn't know if he yeah. was dead the resilience of rom i feel like she would have probably i would have thought he was still alive yeah and like maybe there was hope one day and then to find that out like the only thing that was I guess full. I thought what was brilliant the full circle is that she was the little girl yeah. and like how it like changed her perspective of Indians. I had an inkling like since the beginning. I think the first time we saw Afreen, I don't know if I said this in my head or if I said this out loud in the yeah. in the reaction, but I was like Wahida, and then they said Afreen, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I think you did say okay, that. Yeah, I guess not. But that's kind of where my mind went. And then to have that come full circle, I guess I kind of saw it, but there's something poetic about it, right? Because he was a remarkable man who, yes, while he took lives, he saved considerable more lives than than he took. And he was like brave and he he was just a really good guy and they did a really great job of showing that in the film and how could we not fall in love with him no oh my gosh (laughs) and they had such incredible chemistry and every time i was like oh that was a little weird I feel like they answered it and I was like, oh, I thought too quickly. Like, I didn't let it breathe. By the time I let it breathe, like, uh, her letter, Sita's letters to him, I was like, why is she writing him like that? Then you find out that he saved her. Like, the character development was really, really, like, slow burn, but well done. Even with Wahita. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, okay, this all makes sense this way. Like I said, like, they really took us on a journey and the characters went on a journey. Wahita definitely went on a journey because like she starts off as this like really angry angry person no compassion yeah none and like very set in her ways in her mind and and like her perception of what indians are like and then to come around to the end of the story and realize that the only reason she's alive now is because an indian soldier had the compassion to save her life and because not only that but you know he stayed true to a promise that he made to a pakistani prisoner that changed her her mind completely and like this film just takes you on this emotional journey and at the end it's like yeah i feel like totally sucker punch like punch in the throat and the lower (laughs) abdomen i was like no no i was like oh we're both such hopeless romantics and we love happy endings i feel like so i was yeah. like oh of course they're gonna ca- like Duh. it's still gonna be so sad 20 years that we yeah. were so upset when the what was the movie Vir zara yeah Vir zara when we were like that's ridiculous like i think that was like 30 years or yeah sure, 24 years it was maybe. a long time a long long time yeah and i was infuriated but at least you have like okay they can die together yeah this i'm like no they literally just had that like 
small <laughs> amount of beautiful time and beautiful romance that sustained them for the rest of their lives, yeah. I guess. And it was sad, too, to find out that she was coming back to Kashmir every year at the same time and just kind of, like, waiting for him. That makes me sick. Yeah. It was so tragic. But I think, like, the reason why this movie is so moving, I have to say, like you said, it's because of the chemistry yeah. of the two leads. And and for me, it was especially Dulcair Salman who played Ram. I don't know. There's just something about him. This is maybe the second time that I've seen him in a romantic role. He sells it so well. Like, there's something cheeky in his eyes and his smile. Mm -hmm. He seems really innocent. And, like, the love that he had for her was just so pure that you're like... I can't help but like you. And then when you find out he dies, it's like, no. <laughs> yeah, because he, he was, like, better than them all in a lot of ways. He fought for his Indian army because that's what he knew and that's yeah. who he is, right? But when it came to, like, the women in what looked like brothels, yeah, right, um, he free tried to free them all. And he Without did. question. Yeah. Not knowing, like, who they are, nothing. And, like, with Sita, like, the way he just, like fell in love with her and like saving the Pakistani girl who he has no idea who she is yeah like, all, he was the best of them all like it didn't matter he was just doing what his job was but then being kind whenever he could yeah I think it's just it's so inspirational to like watch a movie like this and see people represented like that I know they're out there mm -hmm. you know there are these people out there but they're so rare yeah I think to have someone like that pure who, yeah. who would risk their own life for a child of an enemy as it were and then you know he's like yeah no he did that he got caught and he lost his love and his life and his reputation yeah yeah at Which, least that was redignified back for him yeah i mean and that was really cool as well how they showed us the character of vishnu because when he was in the prison and he was like hurling abuses at everyone and just being really mean and then just kind of going back and forth it came as no surprise that he was the one that actually betrayed them all yeah definitely i forgot who he was in the prison i was like is that his commander the, yeah like, the commanding guy in the army like i'm so confused and then it like that's what torture will do to some people obviously yeah. most people will get broken down but then to go on with the lie and to give up you know 32 lives of your own people yeah so it's just like you are you've become a monster what i appreciate as well i mean i think we pointed this out was you know when they killed ansari and he puts the quran on his on his oh, chest yeah. and he's like i hope you learn this better next time i did appreciate that because i think it's important to remind ourselves that a lot of the time it's not like a broad stroke of all the people in this religion are, are awful because if you actually look at some of the things that they say in the Quran and, and what Muslims believe, it is actually quite beautiful. It's like supposed to be nonviolent completely right. and like all love. Totally. I always talk about this. Like if you look at actually like every religious text, I don't know, I can't say that for a fact, but most religious yeah. texts of the most followed religions. They are almost all full of love. Yeah. And the way we weaponize our texts, such a betrayal to what they mean. Yeah. And so I like that even though that might have not been his religion, he has the wherewithal to understand that we're all people and like you've mis misread your entire guide. And there was a lot of respect as well because I think there was one scene uh, where I think it was Tariq and someone, the ambassador. I think Tariq said something that was more like Hindu maybe or Indian, and then the ambassador said something that was more like Muslim. I don't know what it was said mm. exactly, but I noticed that and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like offering each other respect in that regard. I was wondering one thing, and we talked about this off camera when we had the break between the first halves of the film. When I turned the film on, I just went with the default audio, because I was like, oh, yeah, it's yes. probably gonna be the correct audio, because the way 
that uh, Amazon has it. The name of the language is written in the language. And since I don't speak any of those languages, I was like, uh, I'm not sure which one is Telugu. It's a different alphabet. So yeah. You can't so read it. I was like, well, I'll put the English subtitles on and hope that the default Amazon version is the correct one so i'm I'm sure that at this point people in the comments since the first video if we chose the wrong one you guys have told us and we're sorry it was interesting in the beginning how the dub was kind of odd like it was off and i don't know if that was because we we're watching the wrong version but later on we both noticed like no no the the mouths and the things that they're saying the sound that's coming out of their mouth it looks like it matches up we were wondering if maybe that was an a directorial choice like to kind of show that they're telling a story as it were and and using these different voices but that was a little bit confusing very sometimes. confusing it was the right beginning part it seems what there was a narrator but the narrator was voicing the people as yeah. they were talking so i was like is this a narrator with a lower volume of the people talking or yeah, is this the narrator imitating or like wording out for them it was weird and i thought we were on the wrong yeah. language uh, but then that only took like three five minutes maybe and yeah then it, then it all settled but yeah that was it must have been a creative choice or a, 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 a weird a weird, a weird mistake. Yeah. like i don't know because i also noticed like at this point i think i can hear hindi and know that that is Hindi. And so even at the end, I noticed some of that happened where when they were up in Kashmir, they were uh, speaking Hindi, which I'm like, totally makes sense. That's what they speak up there, right? They wouldn't be speaking Telugu or, or um, whatever language from South India. But then I did notice that weird dub happen again. And I'm like, is this just because they're trying to cover up the Hindi that's being spoken and just having oh, it dubbed? Oh, that's interesting. Dubbed? Yeah. So... That, I don't know, yeah. That was just weird to me, because I'm like, why couldn't you just have subtitles in, in Telugu or, or whatever other language you want and just have them speak Hindi? Because that feels more authentic, if that's what they would actually yeah. be speaking up there. Yeah, When I was complaining about Sita not telling him who, that she's a yeah. princess, I get why they did that, <laughs> you know, like at the end, because they wanted him to no the whole time yeah. but like it didn't, it didn't matter. matter it yeah. didn't matter i just didn't want him to die not knowing or like during that first mission once they were married or got together that was different but him losing her and not knowing why that would have been heartbreaking for yeah. me yeah yeah if they'd have gone that direction and, and have it been like oh and she marries the prince of oman yeah. and he just never knows be like girl pick up the phone right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need to apologize to this man yeah. like strung him along for yeah. so long but that's not how it was so i just needed to be patient yeah no definitely this movie's like you you have to be patient yeah, it yeah. will pay off in the end although it's gonna break your heart <laughs> but it, it's gonna pay off in the end totally yeah my heart's broken yeah definitely heartbroken so um thanks for getting your heart broken along with us hey, we're guys. like still sniffling and crying. <laughs> i'm not okay bro <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, if you if you want to watch the whole thing and uh, bring the tissues and cry with us yeah. it, it, the entire way through, then you can do that on Patreon or memberships. Recommend other romantic movies, maybe happy ones, please. It's like a little like if we can just for a little bit steer clear of imprisonment wrongly so for <laughs> decades i would appreciate that yeah something something nice and romantic a little bit of crying is okay but like this a is happy heartbreaking ending, at least <laughs> yeah a happy ending at least yeah let us know in the comments below what you what you suggest for us to watch next and we'll catch you next time i'm achara cook this is steps of raw ciao